we took a small slide hammer, hooked it onto a trailer safety chain, put the safety chain hooks into the universal in the drive shaft, and used the slide hammer to pull out the drive shaft. That double roller bearing seems to spin smoothly. There's a little corrosion on the end where the gear is, but we're just gonna take that apart and clean it all up and reuse it. The replacement bearing set is about $200. Inside the housing, there is a shim and a, uh, a spacer. Well, actually it's got two shims in it. So you've got a thick uh, piece of shim that looks like a piston ring. That is a piston ring. It's cut with a gap in it and then there's two shims to set the right um, the right gap between the gears. Alright we're gonna try to take the nut off of the input shaft. Turn it a little more this way. We're gonna need some better tools. Alright, let's try a breaker bar. You're just doing it. it doesn't work. Alright, well let's get an impact dry uh, impact gun. Okay, we'll try the uh, air gun. Bigger tools. Now you don't want to replace it okay, again? Okay, we got the nut off, and now we're trying to get the gear off, but it's kind of stuck. We've removed the lock nut, the lock washer, two C-clips for the universal joint. We're going to go ahead and remove the input shaft. Alright, we're using a ball joint press and a socket and we're going to separate the universal joint. Just press it through the other way to get the other cap off. We've separated the drive shaft from the bearing assembly. We can't get the gear off the front of the yoke, so I'm going to have to get a gear puller for that. And that's where we'll pick up with the disassembly next time. So you think the gear is pressed in there? We cut off one of the teeth of this locking nut to make room for the puller, for the uh, ball joint separator. Seems to work okay. This piece is made out of aluminum, so we didn't hit the thread, so it should be fine. Today is Sunday, June 27th. We're back to tearing down the Alpha 1 outdrive. This is the upper housing section. Uh, first of all, a little disclaimer, none of us have ever worked on an outdrive before, so we have no idea what we're doing. So if you're watching this and trying to learn, just remember we have no idea what we're doing. If you're looking for somebody who does know what they're doing, look up a video from TC Electronics slash Marine. The video name is How Do I Replace My Oil Seals in a Mercruiser Alpha 1 Gear Case. It's about an hour and 15 minutes of really bad quality video and sound from a guy who rebuilds these for a living. So it's full of all kinds of great information. So if you saw the last clip where we were trying to separate the gear from the yoke, yeah, don't do what we did. Here's how you're supposed to take it apart.
it's important that these pieces all go back together in the right order. So there's the yoke, there's a, some sort of spacer, it's a bearing race. Uh, it's not a race, it's a oil seal with a gasket. There's a bearing that comes apart. It's not full of rust. Then there are two spacers. So it looks like one of the spacers is stuck right there, the inner and the outer spacer. And then there's the bearing on the gear. Is that pressed on? Uh, this comes apart. But we were trying to separate these two pieces and you can't really do that without taking the yoke out first because the splines are attached in the gear so when you try to drive a wedge between these two you're not actually separating the yoke so we'll get these cleaned up bearings look terrible and uh, we'll see if, we're, if they're still any good uh, the other thing I wanted to just correct for the record is WD-40 is no better or worse than any of the other sprays. I use it all the time. WD-40, Liquid Wrench, PB Blaster, Aero Croil, they're all interchangeable. Just so you know, the guys at WD-40 don't get all, get their feelings all hurt. Yep. Okay, we're going to try welding a nut on that broken off bolt and see if we can get the last uh, cap screw, cap bolt, whatever they're called, out of the upper section of the outdrive. The gloves. Here's what like it I looks like the before the weld. Here's what it looks like after the weld. We'll see if it holds up. trying to work some PB Blaster into the threads, see if we can get it all the way out. It's really tough getting this one out of the threaded hole. We're closer, but we're tilted away. What all the shares I see. Science. So if we're tilted. All right, it's out. Threads don't look too good in there, but they're still there. All right, the upper part of the outdrive disassembly is complete. There's still a couple of grease seals in there and the lower bearing race for the vertical shaft. I'm gonna leave those in there for right now until we get a rebuild kit. But I am gonna take a few minutes to just show the theory of operation on how this thing works for people who've never looked at one of these taken apart. So the upper housing performs several functions. It stabilizes the input shaft and bearings and the vertical shaft and bearings. It provides a passageway for oil from the lower housing to the upper housing and it routes cooling water up to the engine and then exhaust and cooling water mixed back from the engine down to the lower housing to leave through the propeller. So we'll take a quick look inside. The drive shaft and bearing assembly is held in by this special nut. It has a gear on the end of it, the yoke sticks out the front, hooks to the drive shaft, and there's a gear on the back end. Looking down from the top, you can see the lower bearing race and the oil seals. This portion of the outdrive, this upper portion, fills with gear oil. Of what I've seen on the internet, they claim that it fill, you fill it up to this vent plug right here. Now if we look inside here, this is the portion that attaches to the lower housing. This open area is where exhaust comes out. And the tube in the center, that is for sending water from the water pump in the lower housing up through the housing and it 
and it comes out of this water passage right here. It goes through the, uh, I don't know what that's called, the gimbal housing on the transom and into the motor. The motor has its own water pump. This is your gear shifter right here. And this area right here, this is where the exhaust comes from. Uh, from the engine goes into here, goes down through the housing, and comes out here to go out the propeller. We still haven't decided whether we're going to be able to save any of the bearings. They look pretty bad. In the next video, we will work on teardown of the lower housing of the outdrive. This is an Alpha 1 Gen 1.